So autumn is definitely here. The leaves are turning brown. It's getting a bit chilly. What better time to have a carb social? Right then, so you join me here on Hardwick, which is part of the Linear Fisheries Complex. I'm here with the Ridge Monkey team and we're going to do a social, a pro-social. What does that mean? Well, I'm not entirely sure yet, but we'll soon find out. As autumn falls, it's a great time of the year to be on the bank. The carp are at their peak and nature's colours most stunning. Well, they, they will be once those clouds disappear anyway. We want to share with you an insight into how Ridge Monkey operates behind the scenes. And despite the weather potentially dampening spirits, it's just rain and that won't deter the team as we're about to find out. Fishing is so unpredictable and the media team have to be on alert. As only arriving just six and a half minutes ago, we we're already called to film the first capture. It's shaping up to be a hectic session. We're in team member Jack Lamb's swim, where he's managed to land an absolute beauty to kick off proceedings. Hopefully the first of many. So this is the start of the Ridge Monkey Social. I was a bit cheeky and got down last night. Made sure that I got a peg that had some fish in front of it. And yeah, this 36 pounder, perfect way to start. Hopefully, um, Everyone to catch a few, and uh, yeah, we have a few beers, a bit of food, talk tactics. This 36 pound mirror is the perfect focus point to open proceedings, and rest assured, a bit of pro care will take care of that wound. Jack's not the only one catching on early doors. Good start to the session. Hopefully it'll build. We're gonna put a few spots of bait out this afternoon. And you never know, you might get a few of these hard looking smiths. Lovely fun. The team meeting begins very soon, and with two successful captures already, it's time to organise base camp before the equipment gets even more drenched. Technology and water don't mix well, and I'll be a lot happier when it's all under cover. Lads pause their fishing as the official discussions and pro-social kick off. Everyone's in good spirits, creating a proper buzz for what promises to be a great time of sharing and getting to know one another. Social. Well, it's a crucial time for both brand and team members to connect. This gathering allows us to discuss strategies, establish standards, and share future plans with all Rouge Monkey pros. It's a time of fun, catching a few carp, and also the opportunity for the media team to capture their experiences whilst on the bank. Organising an event like this is challenging, but the team are well focused, ensuring everyone is informed and feels part of the Ridge Monkey journey. Leading today's proceedings is our pro angler and sponsored angler team manager, Loz East. So, give us a bit of an insight what we're doing here today. 
So we're down at Lydia Fisheries, fishing on Hardwick and Smiths uh, for the next couple of days. And the reason we're here is for our annual Sponsored Angler Social, something which this year has been massively overdue now. So for me and Rich Monkey, this session is vitally important. Not only is it good for team morale, bringing us all together and putting names to faces, but also sort of implementing the standards and everything that we expect from our team over the course of the coming months and especially now we're coming into the winter time on what we expect from them within their angling to move the brand in the right direction so hopefully over the next couple of days myself and the guys will get into a few of these lovely carp and we'll have some to show you So to be a member on the team, it obviously takes a calibre or angler, uh, not just to be an angler, somebody can talk with the camera as well and you know, quite media savvy. Yeah. You know, is there any kind of advice that you could give anybody to, you know, who wants to be a future star or they want to get involved with the industry or? I think, first of all, go and enjoy your carp fishing. Um, there are, for me, there are two types of sort of angling. You've got your normal everyday carp anglers that just go and, and do it for the love of carp fishing and you've got the guys that do want to venture into that sort of the sponsored anglers roles and there is a clear dividing line between the two yeah. um, to be a sponsored angler it, these days it's not just about catching fish like it once was that's probably only 20 percent of the job you know being a very talented and capable angler and being a consistent angler because it's not all about big fish you know going away consistently putting fish on the bank um, having great photography skills um, so making sure you use you know a DSLR camera, uh, magazine style images um, and then also being good in front of camera as well. Written work with magazines that comes into it so you have to have lots more sort of strings to your bell um, and if you've got all of those sort of capabilities there's no reason why you know you can't make as a sponsor angle but for me we see Ridge Monkey as one of the leading brands to be in our team moving forward you know, we want the best of the best and we want everybody, you know, to be very talented anglers, to be good in front of camera when called upon, to be able to have good punctuality, good grammar, good spelling, uh, to be able to promote themselves properly on social media. But mainly, my, my biggest piece of advice would be for somebody is, if you genuinely want to be a sponsored angler, promote yourself in the right way on social media, choose a company whose products you like to use, go away, actually use them when you're fishing, promote them, tag the companies in it, take some product shots, scenic shots, catch shots, keep flooding the inboxes in, and most of all, obviously, while you're doing that, enjoy your fishing, and things don't get unnoticed. So if you're out there catching fish on a consistent basis, trust me, you might not see it, but you never know who actually is watching, so yeah. always have that in mind. As the afternoon slips away, the lads are itching to get back behind their rods. With the formalities out the way and no more burgers to consume, everyone heads back to their swim. It doesn't take long before the next call comes in, so we're off to peg 39 to see what's been caught. This time, it's the machine himself. You can always count on Dave to deliver. It's crucial for any carp film to feature, well, carp. Having a guarantor like Dave makes our job a great deal easier. It's a beautiful late afternoon and the autumn colours are in full bloom.
The action continues in Pig 39 as Kev bags another stunning hardwick carp. That's the mid 20. Good put on the slip D. The Camo X, 25 pound. The size 4 Apex. Nailed in the bottom lip. Great way to start the uh, little social we got on today. As the sun begins to set, we head back to the media tent for a much needed break. But once again, it's not long before we're called back to yet another monster. Or that's what we were told anyway. On the Ridge Monkey Social, nice 20 pounder. We lied to the camera crew and said it was a 40. But it's nice all the same, so. <laughs> well done, Dave. Yeah. 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 Come on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he loves kissing 20s. <laughs> <laughs> all about the 20s. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to stay there, boys, I'll get a photo. Yeah, go on, mate. It's always a good laugh hanging with these boys, even if they do tell a few porcupines. It's a bright, crisp start to day two here on Hardwick. This awesome day ticket water boasts over a thousand fish, with the current record standing at just over 47 pounds, a prize worth striving for. The team are up at first light hoping to capitalise on their final day's fishing. Rigs are prepared and breakfast consumed whilst the team discuss happenings and the night before. Loz strikes first with his chunky mirror just over the magical 30 pound mark. The sun starts to warm the water, a new frenzy of excitement runs through the camp. However, there's no time for formalities, as once again we get a call from Jack Swim with another good fish. So mate, you've had a, a good session? Yes, yeah, very good session. It's really good to get everyone down here. Um, it's been fun, but also the feedback you get from the anglers has been fantastic. Um, that's what it's all about, getting everyone together. We've got quite a small team and having the individual input um, from them has just been invaluable to be fair. That's what I was going to say, that the, the announcement that we did yesterday and we're not going to talk about the product itself because yeah. it's all top secret. Yeah. But it's always good to have feedback from these guys. Absolutely, because like we've got quite a small development team that we're all in-house and we keep things quiet and we, we use the products extensively and we go for it. But when you tell somebody else or tell a group of people, that initial, just their reaction yeah. is what we was after and that's what we got. Um, and then obviously we dragged people off to the side and spoke about it. If anyone was more interested, they came over and chatted, obviously showed them how it worked. Um, and yeah, the feedback has been brilliant to the point of it's way better than I thought. Um, whilst we thought it was brilliant, 
just to get that bit of feedback yeah. was, yeah, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been really good. Working with anglers who are always on the bank, yeah. you know, it's, from their point of view, they're going to be using it. They want to test it, make sure it's ha you're happy. Absolutely. I mean, how early do you want that feedback? I mean, I assume it's kind of fairly early. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we've got obviously our team of developers that we've we've got already. Yeah. Uh, myself, Dan, Dave. We all work um, with the products ongoing from the very beginning. So from the very concept stage, we'll look at it as it builds on. We start using it, whether that be a three D printed version or whether it be a usable version, up right all the way up till retail. But as it gets further along, obviously more people know about the product. You get the feedback from the team, you get feedback from random people um, that you might think, I know they're really clever at this item. Yes. So you speak to them and you, you speak to them, you try and keep things a little bit on the down low, but yeah. getting feedback from people outside of the company is also really invaluable. Yes. So yeah, we, we do it throughout the project um, or on all projects. So. Yeah, it always works out well. And having sort of 20 people here, yes. just to confirm something as well, yeah. um, is it, brilliant. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For youngsters or people who are interested in getting into like the industry, yeah. I mean, obviously from what you do, it's not, we're, we're, obviously you are a pro angler, but you're a developer, right? you're a product developer. Yes. So I mean, so what, what kind of entrance points would you advise anybody who's sort of thinking about coming into this industry? So obviously having the passion about fishing has always been my passion. Yeah. I never thought I'd be in the industry. I just wanted to go fishing, catch loads of fish. Back in the day, you used to send your pictures to Carp Talk and then obviously it went more digital. So everything was online, Carp forums and all that sort of stuff. And you start getting a name for yourself. So nowadays I would advise people to go out and catch carp. Nothing has changed. The fish are exactly the same as they were 20 years ago. Yeah. Yes, the angling situations are different. Yes, the people, the anglers are different, but it doesn't, the carp are the same. Yeah. They don't know where they live. They don't know what country they're in. Yeah. Go out, catch a load of carp and put that on your social medias. Tag the companies that you're using their products. Don't tag the companies that you don't use. Tag the ones you do use. Tag the ones you're confident in because they're the people when they actually reach out to you and say, oh, I've seen you've caught loads of fish, mate. This is fantastic. And then you can say, yeah, because I love those hooks or I love those line. And I'd be more than happy to use something else. And that's how it moved on. The development side of it for me is I've always been a thinker. I've always been making bits and bobs. And it kind of just progressed into catching a load of fish, into wanting to make the products that I was already using different or better. Um, and that's where I joined Ridge Monkey and it kind of worked from there. So, yeah, if anyone's got an interest in that, I mean, if I could go back 10 years, I'd probably learn how to do CAD design. Um, I would learn the, the digital side of it way, way, way earlier. Yeah, um, yeah so if I could go back, learn that. <laughs>been with Ridge Monkey almost since the beginning, so about seven and a half years now. Wow, wow, there's seen a lot of change and lots of things going on. And yeah, we've just developed and got bigger and bigger over time, you know. 
and you get involved with more stuff as things go on. But yeah, it's an exciting company to be with. Yeah. So as a pro, as the pro, you're like like so recognised across all the industry. Do you feel a lot of pressure on yourself or? Do you know what? I actually never feel any pressure. Right from back in the day when I first started going out with magazines, I've always had this mindset of you can only go and do the best you can do. So if I go and I know I've picked the right swim, the right bait, put everything into practice that you've learned over years of angling, the rest of it is down to a little bit of luck. Yeah. So what about your teammates? You've got a good, good set of guys here? Yeah, we've got a great team at Ridge Monkey. You know, people like have come down this weekend, we've all had a drink, a good laugh, and there is more to fishing than just catching fish. Sometimes it's about, you know, having a real decent, reliable people on board, and that's what we've got and some absolutely immense anglers like we've got Lee Randall just behind me here, Loz East, Jay, we've got some brilliant anglers on board and uh, yeah we're really grateful for that. Yeah. So do you, you get involved with the product testing as well obviously just you know to I know this is new thing out where we're not allowed to speak about but <laughs> uh, but you've, you've had a look at it and you're impressed? <laughs> yeah I'm really impressed with the latest product that's coming out and uh, my biggest thing on it is when I looked at it, I thought, yeah, it's all right. There's a few on the market like that until I used it. And then I was like, there's nothing like a, like this on the market. It's going to change that game, you know? Yeah. But I love getting the new bits and testing them out, be able to give feedback and actually change things for the better. Yeah. So if there was any advice you could give anybody who was looking to come into this industry, certainly it's like as a pro or a sponsored or a field tester, how do they go about it? Well, I quite often get a message side from people and they say, how do I become a sponsored angler? Are Ridge Monkey taking anyone on? But if you're not doing anything for a company, then you ain't even in their sights. Yeah. So if you want to go with a company like Ridge Monkey, start using their tackle, buy some of the gear, tag them in on stuff. Suddenly, you're in, you're, you, you know, they're going, oh, that guy uses our gear. He's got, does really good shots. And yeah. be nice and clean on your social media. Don't get involved in too much. Yeah decent photos, keep going, and then eventually let the company approach you, because it will happen. If you go chasing it, I'm telling you, you'll be chasing your tail forever. Yeah, yeah. So, you've had a, it's been a really successful couple of days in your eyes. Yeah, I've had a brilliant couple of days. I actually managed to double up with one of the team members, Kev, he's a lovely fella, and um, I squeezed in next to him, he's given me the left side of swim. We've both had three fish each so far, but I think a few of the lads have caught now. And it ain't the easiest time of the year, we're sort of middle of November now, it's, it's got really chilly. But um, Jack's had an absolutely stonking 36 pound mirror. Lee's hardly had his rods out because he's been around drinking tea with us. <laughs> but it's a yeah, brilliant event. Well, there you have it. Life as a pro team angler, all wrapped up in two days. Now it's down to each and every team member to fulfill their duty in building the brand as well as their own profile. Having said it was nearly over, obviously Kev didn't get that memo. Just because you can see the finish line doesn't mean you have to stop. This is the last one of the session. What a way to finish. Great social with the Ridge Monkey boys. A lot of good time, aren't we? Yay! Oh, cheers, <laughs> <laughs> when you walk into a room, life gets a little sweet. When I look 